A blessed day to you all my sports to the bone people. Welcome back, welcome back to another video. Hope you guys are doing okay. Hope you are all enjoying the day so far. It is the morning after sweet, sweet uh, T20 series victory. I know some of you guys are still jumping for joy and making noise and all of that. Right? It was indeed good. And I have a few more things to talk about where the T20 series is concerned. But we, we will uh, take a look at that later on today. What I want to touch on is something that came out while we were in the middle of competing against England. All right? It was Desmond Haynes when he was speaking about the team, the squad, um, the test squad. He spoke about Darren Bravo saying that the, <laughs> the, the, the director had reached out to Darren Bravo about going to England. Uh, well, going to Australia. Also going to take a look at Shea Hope and why he's not going to Australia. Right? Just give a listen here, my people. Let me know what you all think in the comment section. Also, go ahead and hit that subscribe button if you have not yet subscribed. All right. So our lead selector, Desmond Haynes, was addressing the media and he was speaking about she hope you know he addressed um the darren bravo situation and coming out of that based on what i am seeing here they actually reached out to darren bravo he's saying that the lead well the director of cwi reached out miles bascom reached out to darren bravo asking him if he would be interested in touring australia darren bravo however is still sticking to his guns my, my peeps and saying, listen, he's taking a break from the game. He's taking a break. Um, I don't know if it's because of the whole hullabaloo um, that went down or because a couple of their first try players aren't, aren't available why they would have decided to reach out to him. Right? Um, I would have said this a couple of weeks ago that personally, I believe they were planning to take him to Australia before all of the, the whole situation between Bravo and the selector came out. Right, I believe they were planning to take him to Australia. Having said that, he did enough work, in my opinion, to get into the ODI squad. We have already gone past that. But I personally believe that the plan was to take him to Australia. But based on what Desi is saying, the lead selector, Miles Bascom, well, the, the, tech, um, the director lead, um, of CWI reached out to him and he you know, made it known that, listen, he he's not available. He's taking a break. So those who are wondering what's the situation with Darren Bravo, seeing that people like um, Holder and uh, Kyle Mears and a couple of others, German Blackwood, who are experienced players, you know, are not making the trip. Few people might be wondering why Bravo wasn't um, included, but that is the situation. Now where She Hope is concerned, quite a few of us have been looking, and you know, we have been saying that. She Hope will be making a return to Tess, which would allow him to be an all-format player for us. But it seems as if now when CWI, when they are ready for him, the T20 world is also ready for She Hope. Remember, he would have played some T20 cricket in, in the PSL. I think it was last year. Um, he has also done well in the CPL. And we know She Hope is one of the best, um, one of the best ODI cricketers going around these days. Right, so with his white ball skills continuing to improve, teams are looking for somebody that will be able to, 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 to bat in the top order and, and help to guide a team through rough periods right, of the game. And She Hope, as we know, is also a wicked keeper. So when you have a guy that, is, that can bat in the top three, top four, and is also a wicked keeper, teams will, will, will look and say, you know, you are getting two for one in that aspect. So, um, just to remind you, Shea Hope recently played some red ball cricket, right? He actually played for Yorkshire. They, they signed him. Um, it was in April of 2023. You know, he played a couple of games. I think he, he was signed. To, uh, he actually played the first three rounds for them, right? Um, did fairly, fairly well. You know, he scored some runs and then he, he returned to the West Indies. So, on the live show that, you know, on more than one live show that I, I would have indicated that, listen, She Hope can now make a return to the West Indies team because, you know, he didn't play in our 
regional championship, but he played some red ball cricket overseas, which is the level is higher than our regional um, championship. So I was saying that, you know, with his ODI form, T20 form, and the fact that he, he went and played some red ball um, cricket, you know, he should make a return. Now, going to Australia, most of us were thinking that, yes, we're definitely going to see Shea Hope back. But that's not the case, my viewers and subscribers. Based on what Desmond Haynes is sh saying, She Hope would have indicated that he is um, not ready. He wants to play some more red ball cricket before returning to the to the test um, scene. Um, I, I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know my people because um, I have seen I have seen this before. I remember a few years ago when Marlon Summers was out injured, and when he was about to make his return. I think he scored 300 and something in Jamaica there in a local game. And when they reached out to him, you know, he had indicated that he's still not ready. He's getting himself ready, you know. But <laughs> um, She Hope is probably in a, in a similar state where he's not ready. When he makes his return to Red Bull Cricket, he doesn't want his stocks to drop. You know, he wants to be fully ready. You can look at it that way or... You can look at it and say, listen, She Hope is now what you would call a hot con commodity where cricket is concerned. So, you know, maybe he wants to maximize um, on his earnings, you know. So we, we, we are not going to have She Hope on that tour of Australia. So, you know, there are a couple of first um, couple of people that they would have wanted, but they, they are unable to get them. She Hope, Kyle Mears and um, Jason Hola. You know, Darren Bravo, they would have reached out to those guys and they have decided that they 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 they, they are not going. You understand? Um just to remind you of that test squad, what it looks like going into Australia. Quite a young squad. Um not only young in age, but in where experience is concerned. So we have Craig Brathwaite and Alzari Joseph, Tej Naran Shando Paul, Kurt McKenzie, Alec Arthanes, we have um Kevam Hodge. Justin Greaves, Joshua De Silva, we have uh, Akim Jordan, Gudikish Moti, Kima Roach, Kevin Sinclair, Tevin Imlak. We also have Shamar Joseph and Zachary Makaski. So those are the guys. And just to remind you, our lead selector Desmond Haynes indicated that listen, these guys they would have stood out in our strong red ball program, and some of them did pretty well against South Africa A. Eh? So it is only fear for them to get an opportunity to go and prove themselves at the test level. So I just wanted to put this video out. So if you guys are wondering, um, how is it that we didn't, what is happening with She Hope? That is the situation. Situation She Hope declined. If you were wondering about Darren Bravo, Darren Bravo told him that he's sticking to his guns and he's not going. So I just wanted to put uh, that little bit of information out there. Just continue to stay tuned to the channel. If you have not yet subscribed, please make sure you subscribe. Also, make sure that your post notification bell is on because we might just pop up and do a live show and you know without any 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 announcement or anything. So make sure you are fully locked in. Big up on yourself.